Oscar, the reason why you are in my office right now is because your annual IEP is happening today. I have also hired both a therapist and a social worker to help you in middle school. They will both be attending your meeting and your counselor will also be joining the meeting. Okay, Principal Kermit. Good, now please follow us in the meeting room. At Oscar's IEP. Welcome to Oscar's annual IEP meeting. Today is Monday, May 27th, 2024. Let's begin the meeting by introducing ourselves. I will begin. I am Kermit the Frog, the principal of Sesame Street School. Miss Piggy, the vice principal of Sesame Street School. Marishka Hargate, the superintendent of Sesame Street School. Dan Florek, the assistant principal of Sesame Street School. Janice, Oscar's incoming Sesame Street Middle School teacher. Amazing Al, Oscar's new case manager. Dr. Feel. Oscar's new therapist. Christopher Maloney, Oscar's new appointed guidance counselor. John Munch, Oscar's new social worker. Oscarina Grouch, Oscar's mother. Snuffy, Oscar's guardian. Oscar, it's your turn. Say your name right now and who you are. Oscar the Grouch, student. And finally, Big Bird, Oscar's father. Thank you. Now that we have introduced ourselves, Let's go over how much trouble Oscar has caused here at Sesame Street School. We will also discuss his goals when he leaves Sesame Street School, and I know it's a long time from now, but we have to discuss it right now. I will begin. According to the notes in his IEP, Oscar claims that his main goal is to do a lot of bad and inappropriate stuff at the school. From what I know, he stole Elmo's homework when they don't like English, played video games in class, pulled the fire alarm, got in a fight with Frazzle, stole Professor Grover's wallet, ruined the school play, copied his teacher, shouted, mail, in the loudest voice, threw a TV in the lake, misbehaved during the lockdown, yelled at Cookie Monster and Abby Cat Abby in the classroom, sang and danced keep fishing in the classroom and detention, and much worse, disrespected the new students. Mariska Hargate, please explain what you've seen Oscar do in his first five or six years at Sesame Street School. Okay, from what I know, he and another student got in the fight in the hallway for beating each other up, wrote a mean Valentine's Day card to Prairie Dawn, danced on the desk, stayed at school overnight, disrespected the substitute teacher, called Professor Grover Suck, nuts and fooey, beat it up Cookie Monster, ran through the classroom during a lockdown, and threw his desk across the room. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Dan Florek, since you are the assistant principal of Sesame Street School, please explain what you expect Oscar to do in school. Okay, I expect Oscar not to get offensive towards me. He is not allowed to sit next to his best friend in class. He isn't allowed to be partners with his best friend. He is to be respectful towards his partners and the person he sits next to. And most importantly, he will be having both lunch and recess with her every single day in middle school. Thank you. Janice, please explain what you've seen Oscar do. Okay. From what I know, he yelled at me for knowing his name when I told him to introduce himself to me, told me to go poop myself, gave me an error, disrespected Professor Grover, talked smack, and threw a book at Professor Grover. Thank you. Amazing Al, you are next. Okay, there isn't much stuff I've seen him do, but I will explain. He also yelled at me for telling him to introduce himself, told me to go have with Dan Florek, got arrested in school, and sweared at the school play. Thank you. Dr. Feel, please explain what you expect Oscar to do in middle school. Okay, I expect Oscar to be on his best behavior. If he is not on his best behavior, I will assign him an 8-hour Sunday detention from midnight to 8 a.m. He will be required to bring a sack lunch to school every day. And most importantly, he will be required to wear a school uniform every day in middle school which it is not my rule. It is the dress code in middle school and he must adhere it. Thank you. Christopher Maloney, go ahead. Okay, Oscar will be required to come to my office in the months of December and May for every middle school year to discuss what classes he is required to take. He will be required to take the MAP test at the beginning of each middle school year. He will be required to take the Constitution test at the end of his eighth grade year and he will be required to meet with me once a month to discuss what I can do to make him smarter. Thank you. John Munch, your turn. Okay, Oscar is to meet with me after school every day from 3.30pm to 5.30pm to do his homework. 
he will be required to meet with me before school every day from 7.15 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. to help me arrange meetings for art club. And most importantly, he will be assigned a locker to put his belongings in. Thank you. Big Bird, Snuffy and Oscar in a grouch. How does everything we just went over sound? I think this is a great plan for Oscar. This is sure going to teach him a lesson. Good. And also, when Oscar graduates from Sesame Street School, he will not be accepting his diploma right after graduating from his senior year of high school. Why, you may ask? Well, Mariska Hargitay and I have decided that after he graduates from his senior year, he will be participating in the Sesame Street School Transition Program and he will not be accepting his diploma until he is 22 years old. How does all of that sound? That sounds like a great plan. The transition program will give him a better life after high school. Okay, we have reached the end of the meeting. You may all be dismissed. Okay, Oscar the f grouch, now that we are home from your IAP meeting, you are so grounded for 15,000 years. Go to your room right now and leave us be.